All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Elden Ring. This is episode 10. Last time, we decided to go back and explore Stormvale Castle a little bit more thoroughly uh, than we did uh, the first time round. I have a beacon there, apparently. Uh, the first time round, we went into Stormvale and discovered something really, really creepy in the lower depths, um, which we then encountered a new person, uh, new character in the round table hold, uh, Rogier the Sorcerer, who has something, something going on with the old legs, and I just remembered that I actually have my HUD turned off because I was taking a screenshot for a thumbnail. <laughs> Let me turn that back on. Um, yeah, something, something rotten going on with that boy's legs. Uh, but he knows D, which is right here, he's friends with D when they were doing uh, dealings and learning about death and such and such. What is it? The map indicate will lead you. He doesn't reference him or refer to him at all though. He just wants us to speak to the beast clergyman. Um, and we also have a new, new visitor in the round table hold by the name of Rodrika who apparently has the ability, um, not yet, but apparently has the ability to do spirit tuning. I do have a, I suppose I'll ask my So she's gonna ask Master Hugh to teach her, so that's another thing that we'll come back here for eventually. Um, but yeah, we're getting, we're getting stuck into some juicy stuff this, uh, in these recent episodes, uh, and rediscovering, re-exploring some previous areas is turning out to be, uh, a very good thing to do as well. So we are going to explore some more of Leonia today. I think that is probably the best course, the best course of action. I'm going to go to the lake shore real quick because I need to check. I've obviously marked a merchant on the map here and I'm just going to quickly see if they're selling stone sword keys so I can just make sure I have them in my inventory. Um, they do not. They have the confessors, no, the astrology stuff with the S stock. Never mind. Okay. Well, good a place to start as any. So this was where an NPC was in this little gazebo next to the bird's eye telescope. They asked us to go get a necklace at the boil prawn shack where we met a, a pleasant fellow who I don't think we have a name for. There's a blind girl here named Hayeta who's asking for Shabriri grapes so she can have light in her eyes. Um, and um, yeah, the necklace uh, we got for a lady named Raya who serves Lady Tanith of Volcano Manor. Uh, Volcano Manor. I keep putting Volcano and Manor's pronunciation together. Volcana. Volcana Manor. Uh, as I refer to all of my notes I got written down here from the previous couple of episodes. So we're going to go to um, apparently meet Lady Tanith of Volcano Manor um, to fight amongst a family of champions. Uh, and Vare has also asked us to go to the Rose Church west of Gate Town. Uh, this is the Gate Town, so it, it'll be over here somewhere. Probably that right there, judging by the map. So let's go and take a look, shall we? Let's go back through... Let's go back through Leonia and see what kind of fun things we can we can discover um, coming through here for another time. Uh, I really, really just want to give a quick mention and, and shout out to the environmental designers of this game that they have been able to just give us some really gorgeous and varied environments in these different locations so far. Um, it's very cool that it's like you enter... A land like this and you go just this one area of Limgrave or this one area of Leonia could be an entire game in itself in terms of what the location holds you know what I mean like how you know you have a game set in Yarnum or a game set in Ashina uh, and you could just really just have a whole game set in just that one area you know what I mean like that's how how beautifully fleshed out a lot of these locations 
uh, how beautifully fleshed out a lot of these locations feel. And look at this, the skyboxes are incredible. That I, I am so happy that this game has a day and night cycle. So happy that this game has a day and night cycle. And another thing I'm grateful for today is it looks like, uh, at least for now, hopefully, at the start of this episode at least, we don't have any recording stuttering issues like we did uh, last episode. So, I like that a lot. But look at that sky. That is, that's something special right there. As we're being literally tracked by these things. <laughs> Let's touch a new spot of grace. Kill that guy. Get a great dragonfly head. And I'm going <laughs> to rest at this site as a bowl of fire. Okay, okay guys. <laughs> Some of them reach me. Others dissipate right in front of me. Still no, still no options to speak to Melina, which is really interesting. Get a Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook. Oh! And last episode we got two golden seeds. That's something I've got to, I've got to do. Two golden seeds to add a charge to my flask. We don't have a sacred tier, do we? No, good. I was like, we haven't forgotten about that, have we? God, I wish that there was, like, I've mentioned this before, that I was like, oh man, I wish there was like a photo mode, but like, to, I guess to rephrase that, because people were like, oh, it wouldn't work because you can't pause the game. Maybe just like, even if it was like a button, uh, like even, you know, you can screenshot on PC, but it's like, I'm not actually sure if this works, so I might be wrong, you could correct me, but it's the idea that if I pressed like a screenshot button, it would screenshot what I see without the HUD, you know what I mean? Like that's why I have to go into my go into my settings um, and I, I turn it off and I whip out the old telescope and I can frame it correctly if I stand far back enough to sometimes uh, take myself a thumbnail shot for when I eventually change over my thumbnails from being non-spoiler uh, to semi-spoiler. <laughs> I have a, I've been, I've been doing that with my, with my thumbnails when I make them for the playthrough, that I have a backup thumbnail prepared uh, for uh, however long it takes until I decide to change them over. It'll be a while until I do that. Um, but it's better than just doing it as I go along instead of randomly having to go and do all of the work later. We're going to try and find ourselves a way up there, so I'm going to try this direction first. It's a lot of ground to cover when we're in these, uh, in these vast expanses in the main areas and then all of the goodies sort of branches off into the side. And you want to run into these things so you can hopefully get some crafting materials. Alright. This is new. We haven't been here yet. So we've got a fortification here. Interesting. Wow, look at that. You just turn around and it's just like, wow. God, this game's beautiful, huh? These guys are dressed like Santa Claus too, just like Kale. Which is actually another reminder for me to go back and check in with him, and we'll see if he's got anything new for us. Alright. We haven't encountered these types of enemies before. See if I can find a sneakier way in to stealth it. There we go. I feel like these ones here are gonna spot us. I wanna go for the big guy. Look at that weapon. What is that weapon? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that fire magic. Oh shit. Look at this. Okay. Huh. 
it's like the fire witch sort of deal from uh, Dark Souls 3, except proper fire witch. Instead of it being like an armored pontiff knight. Smoldering butterfly. Interesting. I want a piece of their gear so I can hopefully get some lore on these. They seem to have an affinity for fire, so I'm going to assume that they probably worship the flame. Oh, <laughs> that boy really said jump attack cancelled, and so did you. I'm trying to do a fancy jump. Alright, we get it. You like fire. Death. Ah, oh. <laughs> traded. I like doing the strong attack version of this that I actually, like, most of the time end up forgetting that there's a, um, a standard attack for Unsheath, which I just missed. This is what happens when I don't just spam R1 and I'm trying to just do a cool ability instead. <laughs> What an interesting design. It's a very interesting design. Okay, let's see if there's anything in here for us to loot. Yeah, you guys like fire a lot, don't you? Fire spur me. Gesture. Fire spur me. Where's that? There's a lot of gestures in this game. I'm wondering how many of them are tied to navigating a, uh, a quest line, you think? <laughs> we got the spread out one, which we haven't used yet either. There it is. God, they blend in, don't they? Interesting. It's just like a constant beating of the chest. That one feels like it should do something because it's one that's like a constant movement. That one's interesting. We got a new prayer book. Prayer book of the fire monks. There you go, they worship fire. Fire monks who came from the mountaintops of the giants far to the north can be given to a cleric to gain access to the following incantations. Oh, flame. Surge. Oh, flame. Flame, dear flame. I like how there's a lot of... Di there's a lot of little nods to Dark Souls 2 stuff in, uh, in this game, which I really like. Good old Macduff. Prayer Book of the Fire Monks. From the mountaintops of the giants. Far to the north. So are those the, the giants, I guess, those things that we've been fighting the massive things that like come up from the ground because it looks like you know in their weak points in their arms and legs it looks a bit fiery so almost almost kind of the same that might be that might be it maybe if we use the the flame gesture in front of them they'll recognize that we also worship the flame and they'll leave us be what do you reckon you reckon it's worth a shot all right, so looks like we've got a pathway to run up to to a structure. So let's go take a look. I'm feeling a bit more comfortable now exploring Leonia, at least more so than the first time. And then on top of that, feeling a little bit better uh, than I was last episode. Last episode, I got very easily distracted and it was like slightly cursed in a sense of performance issues and then also I was like I'm gonna be calm today guys we're emotionally centered and I just put myself in some very stressful conditions <laughs> I feel like that is the way of the FromSoft experience sometimes it's the most cruisiest polite delicate joyous experience of your life whoa hello and then other times you're getting attacked by little men again oh my god <laughs> we're getting attacked by little men once again <laughs> Uh, and then other times you just get cursed to just go through some really strange areas. Go 
God damn. Ah, and they've also got shit. They've also got gold tinged shit. Wonderful. The old excrement. Take me golden shit. Ah, yes. Okay. We're not able to get over there yet. Uh, it seems to be a path that is being blocked, but there is a statue of Marika there. There is a statue of Marika there. I can't wait to figure out how to get over there, because at the moment, this path here, we were able to get, like, somewhere here, but it was, yeah, seemingly a blocked path. Oh my god, the little, their little laughs, dude. Their little laughs. Yes! Volga Militia Helm. Okay, we got some more. We got... Ooh. Volga Militia Helm. We got another item to show for ourselves. Now, we got one thing of theirs last time. There it is. Helm worn by lean, mean, and filthy militiamen. The upward extension serves to create an appearance of larger size, however slightly. They just want to appear taller, guys. <laughs> Just want to appear larger. Oh god, there's another one. They fucking jump. They fucking jump scare you. I love how it. Uh, they just magically, magically grows in size as well for my head. That actually looks so cool. The blindfold or like the little bandage is over the wrong eye though. My my working eye has been covered. Perfect. I like a challenge. The blind swordsman wearing his little pointy hat to appear taller. Let's rock this for a while because it's funny. Oh, it's an ever jail. You know what? That should be another thing that we should be tackling is we have a few ever jails on our map that we have made note of. We've failed at a couple. Uh, I think it's about time uh, that we tried running through our known ever jails, don't you? So we've got one here. This one's active. I don't think... I don't think that these... actually tie into the strength. But we don't know. This is a, an untested theory. So this is the Malefactor's Ever Jail. I'm just going to do it anyway. No harm done. Okay, shall we see... Shall we see what we've got here? This ever jail? Let's take a look. What's the armor difference between... Yeah. It's fine. Fashion souls. I'm a turtle with a pointy hat. Turtle samurai with a pointy hat. And no FP because I haven't rested. That's perfectly fine. What is it? Adan. Thief of fire. Whoa, okay. Thief of Fire, that's so cool. Yes! Flame, dear flame. Ah! Oh, literal fireballs. That's cool, man. Especially when I miss my attack. That's so cool. Oh, whoa! This dude's speedy with his flame. Oh, look how fast he goes! Holy shit. Oh, he's charging it up. He's changing tactics. Oh, he also heals! He's like a fucking invader! He's healing! Haha, he only has the one. He's quick, man. His casting speed is super quick. Ho 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 ho! I love his abilities, dude! I was so confident. I was so confident, and I ate shit. Damn. Damn, we have not had to... We have not had to do a... Steak of Marika revival in a while, have we? Far out. 
when doing just a lot of exploration. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to kill it. I want to see if it changes anything. Alright. And have a jail boss that we can defeat. Yay! <laughs> oh god, it's attacking us now. Whoa, look at its attack! Ah, get out! <laughs> okay. Now I've got FP. Now I will be unleashed. The power of the sun in the palm of his hand. Oh, it leaves lasting fire damage on the ground. I should have known. Whoa. That, that fire one is so quick to cast. This is literally pyromancies, and I love it. It's literal pyromancy. It's so sick. God damn, he's spamming that sun, isn't he? Ooh. Especially the times where he just does not even get... Uh, he does not even phase him. I'm trying to do cool attacks, man, and you keep just making me R1 spam. He couldn't heal. Ah, <laughs> the bleed kill. A darn thief of fire. Ooh, flame of the fell god. That was our first ever jail boss killed. Okay, you just get instantly teleported out when you defeat an ever jail boss. Good to know. We're back. Okay, I don't think uh, the enemies on the outside do anything. Uh, in terms of increasing the strength or whatever. It seems like they might have, have something to do, but I think it's fine. We got a pyromancy, essentially. An incantation. Raging Fireball. The legendary incantation is one of several that draws directly from the power of the fire giants. Releases a ball of raging fire said to be inhabited by a fell god. The fireball floats towards enemies and explodes, setting the area ablaze. Argonthi... Arganthi, the chief guardian of the flame, had kept this incantation a well-kept secret until it was stolen by Adan. The fell god still lurks within the fire giants. How sick. Okay, that's an Everjail victory. Our first one, which is awesome. Summoned my horse and it did not appear. Okay, that's our way down to a merchant. Oh, there's an item there. Um... Good stuff. Oh no. <gasps> Almost fell off. Sacrificial twig. Okay. Let's do an Everjail excursion. It's Everjail time, baby. Um, let's go for one of the very first Everjails that we found, which is, I believe this one is the Crucible Knight. I think Stormhill Shack is also where Rodrigo first was, so I think we can remove that that marker from the map now. Ooh! Something has been left. Oh, a golden seed. Nicely done. Alright, let's remove that marker. And let's go check out this Everjail. Alright, we're ready for those frame- we're ready for them frame drops, baby! Going through the wind? Or maybe it'll be smoother. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Imagine if the whole time I never looted this or something and there was still a golden seed there. <laughs> Wouldn't put it past me, it happens sometimes. Okay, direction of the Everjail is over here. Uh, 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 uh. Crucible Knight rematch. Can we defeat the Crucible Knight in this current state? I believe in myself. The Stormheel Everjail. Let's 
let's fucking go. It's about time we started making our way through some Everjails, don't you think? Uh, we gave we were we were valiant we were we were valiant in our in our opening effort there okay valiant <laughs> we had the right approach and it was off to a good start actually it was off to a cool start however however there was the matter at hand that we got crushed so you got to watch out for those Let's try this again. Oh, I got stance broken. Oh, okay. That was like a trade. Oh, how am I still alive? <laughs> oh, no. I hate when you get... I was literally about to say I hate when you get stuck in a loop of I need to run back and heal, stab. I need to run back and heal, stab. <laughs> it's so fucking... Fuck you, you jerk. I need to run back and heal, stab. I need to run back and heal, stab. <laughs> Stop! Let me, let me be! Ooh, you can unsheath to dodge that attack. What are you doing? What the fuck? Angel of death? Okay. Man just has actual wings. That he just pulls out of his ass. Okay. And a tail? And a tail? What? Dude! Where were you hiding that ability? So he's not pulling pulling a uh, wings out of his ass, but he's certainly pulling a tail out of his ass. Holy shit, bud. I regret everything. <laughs> he killed me the same way! Oh my god. What a joke. <laughs> he, I love that he pulls out these new abilities. The ability to fly and charge me and the ability to whip me with a tail and he just kills me with a simple ground stomp. Twice. Twice, damn you. Alright. Let's let's focus up. I got I was overconfident. And if we've learned anything about anything in life, is overconfidence will be your downfall. So let us focus. Attain spiritual enlightenment in the name of of the Elden Ring. And get impaled with a shield. That's a cool, that's a cool fucking trick, sir. That's also a, a great one. Good moves. Good moves. Whoa! Okay. You pulled that out really quick. 
Okay, yep. Just the wing dragon tail combo. Who the hell is this Crucible Knight? What is his deal? What is his deal? Where did you come from? Where did he come from? What is his story? You need to stop. <laughs> you need to stop with that. Just, no! Just when you think you got him all figured out, he pulls some bullshit on you. Oh god. It's like you it's when it's been enough time for him to do an attack and you just know that there's an attack coming while you heal. You just know it's happening and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Okay, I keep falling for the tail, dude. I just don't expect the tail. And I don't know he killed me with the stomp again. <laughs> okay, it's okay, dude. I'm dead. You can stop attacking me. Okay, okay. So this Crucible Knight guy, right? He's a bit of an asshole, isn't he? <laughs> and this Crucible guy! Who does he think he who does he think he is? To whip out all of his fancy attacks and go, you know what? All I need to kill you is a stomp. Consecutively, every time without fail. I got this. I got this. With 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 death comes improvement. Oh, no, I have the wrong... I didn't mean to barricade shield. I meant to do my classic opener. How dare you? I'm just going to run you in circles. Ha-ha! <laughs> now it'd kill me. Yeah, that's right. That's what I was thinking about. That's what I was talking about. That's right. Yeah, Crucible Knight, let's go. That's right. Keep up with the turtle, baby. Okay. Okay. Alright, maybe I should stop playing. I'm I'm sorry. It's so weird, like, when you can just miss an attack. The hitboxes are really cool sometimes. Oh, that's a delayed shield strike. And it bugs me. And that is a sword to my face. And it bugs me. Okay. Not, we're not dodging that one. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's also fine. I I'll accept that. Jump. Okay, one of these days I might actually not get hit by that, and that'll be a glorious day. Be a glorious day. One of those days I will not be hit by the dragon swipe. Oh, that sword went right through my head. Haha, <laughs> you thought I was going to do something else, didn't you? Oh, yeah, go off the cliff. <laughs> Okay, 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 settle, 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 settle. I realized I didn't drink my uh, spicy potion. That would have been a good idea. You thought you were going to kill me with the ground slam again, didn't you? Wrong. You'll kill me with it later. <laughs> Whee! All right, boys. I should have drank that much earlier. That fucking tail, bruh. 
That fucking tail, bro. How did I not die? I should have. I should have died. I'm alive because the plot wills it. I'm alive because the story demands it. Only for me to get killed by a shield. That was my moment, and I squandered it. Who truly is the hero of this story? It's actually Crucible Knight, guys. I'm gonna give it to Crucible Knight now. He's gonna take it over from here. He's actually the the tarnished that's going to uh, that's going to forge the Elden Ring, and he's going to right the wrongs of the Shattering. Crucible Knight's got it from here, guys. See you later. Turtle Samurai is no more. We're gone. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, I did the same mistake again. I need to remember that. How could how could he make the same mistake again? At least he's learned maybe to avoid dodging so early for the for that shield bash. I'm trying to goat him into an attack so I can heal. You like that? Good move, huh? Alright, you just you're just gonna do it again, huh? Okay. Fancy. He likes that one, doesn't he? I was pressing dodge, and my character just said, you know what, I'm going to be unresponsive. Call me later if you need me. Two! That's the... Well, I didn't know you could do it twice. He can... He can double. Just if he feels like it. Shit. Oh, I didn't even press a button that time. What is the range on that shit? Oh my god. That's fucked. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Charisma Knight, you piece of shit! Holy crap, dude. Oh, I... Obviously, I pressed a button, but too late. I got no excuses, apparently. No. No. Imagine if you just span it a third time. Crucible Knight. <laughs> Crucible Knight is so cool. Don't you just love Crucible Knight? I love him. He's good. He's good to me. He just knows exactly what I need. A good ass kicking. Let us let us travel to the realm. This is his domain, man. Alright, finally I have the unsheath ability on first instead of the stupid. I'm locked in, baby. Let's go. See that? That was my fancy swing move. You don't want to get hit by that. See? You don't want to get hit by that. I'm just giving you warning shots. You don't want to get hit by my fancy... 
in the air move. You know what? You don't even deserve it. I'm going to stop doing it because it's probably going to get me killed. Okay, if you could stop. There you go. See, there's my fancy move. I can do a jump move too. Okay, this is the one. <laughs> he says as I almost lose all of my health in that one attack. Okay, I'm just going to run over here now. If you don't mind. Damn. I thought he might be open for an attack while he's doing that, but it's totally a block move as well. That's a proper shield bash, that one. Oh, I jumped backwards, which obviously is a stupid idea. I had that fight and I just wasted it. I had that and I just wasted it by being an idiot. I jumped backwards into his attack which is just like so rookie that's like a fundamental fundamental basic if an enemy is charging you don't dodge backwards don't jump backwards jump over it that's basics you got this boy I believe in myself if nobody's gonna pep talk me I gotta pep talk myself Is he, is he eligible to be bled? I don't even... I don't think so. Other like... He must have a supremely high resistance to it otherwise, but I mean, that's assuming he even has any flesh and blood underneath that armor. Because it does not seem likely. Alright. Angel time. Uh, I keep... Why do I keep goating? Why do I keep goating him into that? That dragon tail. We never... Sometimes we just never learn. And we never want to. Don't. Just don't do it to me, man. This guy really intrigues me. Like, what the hell? What is Crucible Knight's deal? Man's just summoning a fucking dragon tail for no reason. You don't need a reason when you're Crucible Knight. I can't fucking believe you! <laughs> I can't believe you! Oh my god, he was one hit away and he just blocked my last hit and then killed me with the stomp attack. He said, remember this one? Remember the stomp move? I got you with it. <laughs> he had no health left. This is a great, well, this is a great start. I'm like, hey guys, let's do an Ever Jail Conquest. It's about time, right? It's about time to do an Ever Jail Conquest. So let's go back to my old foe, Crucible Knight, and see if we can beat him. To 
to which that he keeps reminding us why he's the best. Okay, back to back. Back to back dragon tailing. I see. Questionable hitbox. Alert. dunked on. You jerk! Crucible Knight. Aspects of the Crucible. Tail. Dude, you can act- we can shove a tail out of our ass too. If we want to. We've just got the power of the tail. Fuck yeah. Alright, Crucible Knight. Easy. Crucible Knight. Easy. Not even a challenge. Not even a challenge. Oh, it's an incantation. I was like, maybe it's an Ash of War because it has the Ash of War dude on it. One of the ancient Erd Tree incantations creates a supple tail that sweeps through foes before the caster. This is a manifestation of the Erd Tree's primal vital energies, an aspect of the primordial crucible where all life was once blended together. Sheesh. Create supple tail and sweep area. 27 faith required for that. Ever jail conquered. Can't believe we did that first try. That was awesome. All right, guys. How many more markers? How many more ever jails uh, can we beat first try? So far, we're on a uh, on a streak of two ever jails, zero deaths. So that's awesome. Let's move into this other one. Uh, we've got the Forlorn Hound Everjail. I don't remember what this one was. But we've put a marker on it, so we've been here before. You know what? That would be a really good idea. Because we have Sights of Grace in a list. Oh, we have the ability to mark a Sight of Grace with... Ah, oh, what does that do? Okay, that puts a little mark on it. So I guess... What is the mark for? Round Table Hold, Limgrave, Stormvale Castle, Leonia, Lane Dell, Caelid, Siofra. Okay. You can mark them. It doesn't change how it looks on... It doesn't change it how it looks on the map. I wonder if that could be a cool way to at least maybe mark off locations but like for example if say we've cleared like this ever jail that's another one we need to go to the weeping ever jail um say if we've cleared it there's because there's no marker nearby there's no way for you to maybe like it would be nice if you could put like a tick mark on the map like that would just be awesome if you're like oh i've already done the stranded graveyard um it'd be nice if you could mark it as complete or something and it would put a tick next to the name I think that would be really, really neat if you could do that to just help with uh, how big the the map is, you know, and everything that's uh, everything that's on it. Bada bing, bada bing. Oh, I think that that ever jail down there is blocked by a stone sword key so we'll, we're, we're now able to open that one because we have we got keys so we're okay oh shit hang on there's a summon sign in this one whoa Blythe is here oh fuck 
look how tall he is. Oh, we have to. Blythe the half wolf. Oh, we have to. Oh, we have to. That's the coolest summon in the game. I don't even know all of them, but that's it. That's the coolest one. Darrowell. Rotting in a cell is no true justice. No. This is where it ends for you. Oh, this is Darrowell's ever jail. That's why we can summon him. Bloodhound Knight Darrowell. Whoa! Hoo -hoo -hoo. Whoa! Oh, he's so easy to kill. What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa, look at that guy. Bloodhound's Fang. Blythe the half was a return to their world. We were going to kill that guy instantly without summoning or not. Like, we were doing an insane amount of damage to that guy. Oh, he's just chilling outside now. Okay, I wonder if, he, if we didn't even summon him. I feel like he'd still be here because we would have done what he asked. But that was so cool. Um, that felt like less of a a challenging boss and more of a story boss if you know what I mean like it's something that you need to do to progress a quest because we were doing immense damage and he was doing like nothing so I don't feel bad about that whatsoever but you have to summon this boy look at that armor I aspire to be like you but I am a, I am a simple man with a with a tall hat and I still pale in size to you <laughs> Oh, dude, that's so sick. Blythe the Half-Wolf. Uh, we got a sword. We got a sword from that guy. His movement was really, really cool, by the way. Um, Bloodhound's Fang. That just straight up has C-Dex scaling, has blood loss build up, and does more damage than my Uja Katana. Did we just find a weapon to upgrade with? We just need to put some more points into strength. Just a couple more. And then I can figure out how to get back to medium load instead of heavy. I think we just found a replacement for our Uji Katana. Uh, which makes me feel bad about all those uh, smithing stones that I've put in it. You know what I mean? That makes me wish I put more... Um, I saved them. Oh, it's fine. Curved greatsword with a gently undulating blade wielded by Bloodhound Knights. A fearsome blade capable of brutal airborne attacks. Unique skill, Bloodhound's Finesse. Slash upwards with the Bloodhound's Fang, using the momentum of the strike to perform a backward somersault to gain some distance from foes. Follow up with a strong attack to perform the Bloodhound's step attack. So I guess we witnessed that, too. I was not expecting Darrowill to be in an Everjail, but that's cool that he was, because I was really looking forward to finding him to progress this quest for our, our lovely friend here. <sighs> right. There you are. Not to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Here's your prize. Here's your prize. Somber smithing stone. That's it? Oh, yes. I should say. If you venture north to Rea Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side, tell him I sent you. And he'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. Ooh, okay. Uh, let me make a note of this. Uh, Rhea Lucaria. Blacksmith. Another blacksmith. I'll just leave that near my, uh, my Blythe note. So we can say that Blythe sent us. That's enough chit chat for now. It's time we parted ways. Okay. You got any? You got anything else on? Are you busy later in the week? I'd love to like hang out and like kill some things together and just let me know if you want to hang out. Like I'm free. I'm just gonna be here. I'm trying to reform the Elden Ring. Um, yeah, like um, call me. I'll be around. Um, just howl for me and I'll uh, I'll snap my fingers. You know, we'll we'll make it work. We'll we'll connect. All right. We'll make it work. So cool. Alright, we're going to the 4th Church of America to go into the Weeping Ever Jail now. Where I'm going to level up with the current runes that I have and put a point into strength. 
And then we'll put another point to strength next time so I can wield this Bloodhound weapon. So cool. Um, I'm going to check because we've got stamina and strength, which is a nice combination for me. But what else have we got again? Yeah. And I want to I want to find something. We still haven't found an item yet. I'm looking forward to finding an item that helps with our equip load because I feel like we're going to need it. Um, but honestly, our turtle shield weighs a lot, so I think if we're going to use a bloodhound fang, I'll probably take off my bow and my shield, and that'll be fine. Alright. Fourth ever jail. So I guess that means our quest with Blythe is on pause for now until we go to Rhea Licaria and have a chat to this blacksmith and then I guess we'll see him again. Delity. Use stone sword key. Open up. Okay. Let's find out who's in the Weeping Ever Jail. I love the wondrous physic. The flask of wondrous physic is so cool. Okay. Who we got now? Whoa! Ancient hero of Zamor! Whoa! Frost breath. Ancient hero of Zamor. Damn, Crucible Knight really be the only one in the Everjail so far that's, like, crazy. Everyone else is pretty, uh... Pretty manageable, especially where we're at in the game, I guess. <laughs> Both attacking and avoiding each other. What is that? What are you about to do? Ice Blade! So cool. Oh, and you've got more resistance to my attacks. You're stronger now. Ice Storm. Whoa, shit. I literally, like, pressed dodge as I got hit. The reason why I didn't heal was because I knew that a hit was coming, and I was like, I just need to dodge one attack and then heal instantly. Unfortunately did that lovely thing that I do, where my reaction time is just a little bit too slow. And you dodge as you get smacked in the face. Every enemy in this game is so cool, man. Every enemy in this game is so cool. <laughs> Zamor. See that? That was fancy. That was fancy fighting. She gives me, uh... It seems feminine, but, um... I'm just saying she gives me dancer vibes. Ah, How did that still hit off the, to the side there? Yeah, it gives me dancer vibes. Except an ice version, especially because uh, there's a lot of ice and frozen stuff to do with the Boreal Valley. So it feels like there's a bit of a uh, bit of her DNA in this fight. Just another one. Dodge timing. Such good dodge timing. Oh, so... Get bagged, son. Radagon's Scar Seal. Radagon's 
Scar Seal. Cool names. Cool names, as always. Let's have a look at Radagon's Scar Seal. Is that a key item? This is not. What is it? And yes, <laughs> I keep forgetting to look at the icon of what item it is. You're right. I just kind of get excited. I get excited and I instantly click away and then I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should be a bit more patient. Is it a weapon? What is it? Oh, it's a talisman. Right. Raises attributes, but also increases damage taken. An eye engraved with an Elden Rune. Said to be the seal of King Consort Radagon. Raises vigor, endurance, strength, and dexterity, but also increases damage. This seal represents the lifelong duty of those chosen by the gods. It increases all of them by three. And it gives me more HP and more equip load, and more stamina. I'ma try it. I'ma try it out. I'ma see how much more damage is more damage. I feel like with that, it's gotta be substantial, dude. It's gotta be substantial with something like that. But now we can equip this. <laughs> oh, it's not stronger than my Uji Katana. I must have been highlighting a different weapon. Um, that's okay. It's not even upgraded yet, so... It's got... 10 more better blood loss build up. Alright, shall we try uh, shall we try this ability? Bloodhound's finesse. Wait, I think I got I got I think I got that timing wrong. There it is. Whoa! <laughs> Obviously it's not as effective because I don't have FP, but that is cool. Alright, so following it up with a strong attack is awesome. So you go up there, you do a bit of that, do a bit of that, and then you jump back in for another attack. That's so cool. What a weapon. What a weapon. That's cool. Okay, do we have any more, do we have any more Everjails that we have not destroyed yet? I guess we'd see them on the map if we'd seen them. Uh, can't remember what that is. But I put a gem there. Uh, that's done. See, this is like one of these moments where it's like... I guess to remember that I've done them, then maybe I should be putting... <laughs> maybe I should be putting, like, skulls on them. I'm like, alright, cool, it's completed. At least until I run out of, uh, at least until I run out of markers. But yeah, Crucible Knight really be just the most painful fucking asshole. <laughs> Crucible Knight was like, I'm going to be your worst nightmare. Everyone else will be fine. Um, I feel like that's all the ever jails we've found so far. While this game is very much close to perfect and I love it and adore it, there's a couple of quality of life changes that I would really love uh, that are kind of like almost common sense with a couple of open world things that um, Elden Ring... Uh, has a lot of from software identity, but it has a lot of things that it could improve um, You know like You can change the map to show the underground. That's cool. Do you know what else would be cool if you could show just markers? Maybe just specific markers if you want to quickly highlight your map and you want to make sense of it Being able to use like tick or check marks on things Maybe like when you leave a marker being able to leave a note as to what that actual thing is that it refers to um, a lot of stuff that could be in game that I could think make the map a little more, uh, a little more efficient. Oh, while we're here, while we're here, I left this note because this is that painting, the prophecy painting. I want to check this out and then I want to go back to the invisible footsteps. We're going to go back to those invisible footsteps and I want to see what that bullshit is about. And then we'll go back to Leonia. <laughs> then we'll go back to Leonia. So, from here... I don't know where exactly we need to be for the painting, but it is behind here because there's the waterfall that's down here. And I don't know where we have to be, but I guess we'll see the sp a spirit pop up like we've had before. So this is the waterfall. Maybe it wants us to be all the way over there. 
Maybe we could view it from the Church of Pilgrimage. But, before doing that... I don't know which direction... Oh, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> I did not expect such a drop. Um, I did not expect such a drop. Um, yeah, before we jump over to that um, church... I'll see if we can look at it closer. Alright. Where's me fucking... Where's me fucking runes at? Where's me runes at, mate? Okay. So, having a look at the painting again. Looks like this. Yeah, it's oh no, it's viewing it from far away. That's viewing it from very far away. I feel like it's a safe bet to go and view it from the Church of Pilgrimage. It's a safe bet to view it from this far away, I think. And then it's this way. Oh yeah, because this is another place of death. And that's what the paint that's what the paintings refer to, right? Because it says like uh, the painter said to capture the landscape scene during the last moments of those who were welcomed into death's embrace. This is a couple of graves, and this one is like a view of... Die. This is a... Uh, we're positioned in a graveyard. This is, yeah, this is the image. This is the painting right here. I'm waiting to see if there's a visual cue. Uh, there should be a spirit in a chair, I guess, that chills and then drops an item. That's, this is definitely the painting. Is there a, maybe a section lower down? I don't think it's possible for you to get onto those platforms. That seems a bit much. Ooh, maybe down there. Oh, down here. Okay, let's go down. Let's get down here instead. Oh, no, it's right here. There you go. He's doing his little thing. There you go. There you go. There's the painting. War, Hawk, Ashes. Okay, another Ash of War. Oh, so they're called War Hawks. Those little fucking dagger ones. Spirit of a Stormvale Warhawk, the talons of which have been sliced off so that razor-fine swords could be grafted in their place. With its lord vanquished and its wings wounded, the hawk perished as it solemnly gazed at its former home. The storm is a Warhawk's cradle. Alright, but we can... can we still get down there? Does that even look like a place that we can get down to? Maybe from the Earthbore Cave, you could go around to potentially get down there. Let's see. Seems slightly possible. I was expecting that to break underneath my steed, not roll off the cliff, but that is fine. We've been over there before, right? No, hang on. No, we have been over there. That's a merchant, right? Did I just forget to mark a merchant on the beach? 
Oh, maybe there's another one, because there's... No, I have marked a merchant. I think that there's another one over here on this beach. Oh, hang on. Let's, let's, let's be clever about this. Let's do a beacon. How far away is that beacon? Yeah, there's definitely a... Okay, there's a bonfire under that beach. It's a little bit further than that. It's like over here. Why can't I remove this marker? Go away, thank you. Okay, there you go. I will be back for you. If I don't fall to my death by accident. Okay, we got land octopuses. Land octopi. Ooh, I got a bewitching branch, which I don't think I've gotten before. That's new. God, this is such a good horse weapon too. This is a really good horse weapon. Look, I think we might be able to make that jump over there. I don't know why we'd want to, but I think you can. It's not a matter of why. It's a matter of can we. It's a matter of need, necessity, to see if you can journey across this cliff face randomly, seemingly, to no end, just because you can. You know what I mean? Like, hell yeah, I made it to this place. Why? Doesn't matter. Because I can. Because the game allows me to do so, and that is the reward in itself. We still need to figure out how to cross the ocean to get to that church over there, though. I mean, over there. Alright, seeing if there's any more stuff over here while we're here. Okay, that, now we're just... Okay, now we're just around here. Cool. Uh, let's try and get to this beach. The best way to do that, I guess, would be to go from the seaside ruins. Which is an, another idea. So we'll do that beach, and then we'll head back over this beach. Because we can also check in on our friend Yura next to the seaside ruins and see if he's still there. If he's got anything else for us. We haven't done anything with the uh, with the church that he told us about. So I expect that he'll still be here. Let's have a look. You must not forget though, those who put their hunger for okay. lifeless strength. So he's he's just still gonna he's still gonna chill here, I guess. He's just gonna hang out. Until we figure out how to get over there. Ah, that's just an enemy. Okay, I was like, oh, it's gonna be an NPC. Nope. Alright, it's just an enemy. I don't know how... I now no longer care about this beach. We're going over to this beach now. <laughs> beach cancelled. It has enemies there. Not people. I'm only interested if it got people. And I guess when we go back to Leonia, where there's uh, enemies that are a bit more at our speed, we'll find out just how much more damage we take <laughs> wielding this uh, this new new toy of ours. I love how there's like such a period of the game where you'll really run around or kind of stick to a, a specific setup or build because it's like comfortable and or it looks cool or something like that and then there'll be a period of the game where you'll just procedurally start getting these like uh cool items that you like <laughs> and your outfit changes before you know it you're trying to be taller than you actually are with this with this hat and you're wielding a bloodhound fang that's only the beginning that's only the beginning before we head down to the beach, we may as well just quickly have a have a chat to Kale. Wait, well, you're back. Nothing new. Nothing new from this one. Goodbye. That's fine. Always worth it. If he wanted an up, maybe he could have provided me an update on Blythe or something like that. Considering he's the one who set us up with the means to communicate with him. Uh, we'll put a pin in that for now. Hello there, mate. 
angry for no reason. You are. You need to chill out. Okay, so this magical fucking footstep thing, I'm just going to attack it. Because I was trying to follow it, I was trying to stand in the way of it, and I can't figure this thing out. But I've decided that action must be taken. And we are going to swipe at this thing. Okay, it's faster than us, so I need to do this. Surely. Right, I'm just going to... This is the problem. Waiting for it to come back around. <laughs> I'll just wait. Wait for it to do a lap, or should I just constantly try to cut it off? Is this even an end? Is it something I can fight? It's faster than I am! <laughs> There's only so much I can do. What? What is this? We're back here questioning our, the nature of our existence with fast footstep thing. Maybe... You know what? I have a torch. Fire breather. I'm going to put fire down. You're not going to be able to avoid fire, are you? Perfect. I literally have an ability. It worked! Fire! Ash of War. Stamp. Sweep. Okay, it was just an Ash of War. Stamp sweep. Where's stamp sweep? Storm stomp. Stamp sweep. Steam stump. Stamp sweep. Brace armament and step into a low stance that prevents recoil from most enemy attacks. Follow up with a strong attack for a sweeping strike. Usable on swords, axes, and hammers. Okay. I'll I'll get into changing some stuff soon. Eventually. I'll probably get the skill so I can duplicate some. So I can make sure I can duplicate ones that I want to keep. Um, I'm going to keep Unsheath. And I'm going to keep this uh, cool ability for um, Bloodhound's Finesse. Because it's unique to this weapon, it seems. Um, but we'll level up another weapon with like a cool Ash of War. We haven't even um, played around with the Rapier yet, actually. Which we are able to wield... And we can level that up a bit, because that's got C deck scaling as well. The old thrusty motion. Oh, that's cool. So you don't drag this one into the ground, you hold it for like a thrust. That's neat. I like that. I do like keeping our katana, but we can definitely play around with some other stuff. Alright, I can remove this marker now. Secret solved. Do you ever find some magic footprints? Murder it. It doesn't deserve to live, apparently. <laughs> Murder it for loot. For the Ash of War. Avoid land octopuses with your entire being, because they're terrifying. That's, an that's another rule to abide by, by the way. Um, let me put on my Ujigatana again. I swear my brain... My, my eyes and my brain stop working when I'm in a menu trying to look for something. It's right in front of me, and then I'm like, where is it? Uh, I don't know if this merchant has um, stone sword keys, but I'm going to ask. And maybe if I'm polite, he will have them. Hello. I don't want any trouble. Yeah, just give me your stone sword keys. Right, I'm going to have to kill you. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're going to have to die now, bud. Be on your way. Why are you so nervous? I'm not aggressive. Hang on, that wasn't there before. <gasps> Did I just literally run past a dungeon? Hold on a minute. Coastal Cave was not on my map before. Where's Coastal Cave? 
Okay, I'm so glad that that just popped. Ah, oh, look at that. Fucking hell. Why didn't that pop up the first time that I rode past there? I don't know. That's cool, though. Hey, guys, I should be more observant. <laughs> Coastal cave. Hell yeah. And this is why going back and exploring old areas is inherently worth it, because you will always have something happen. For example, that. Let's take a look in this cave. Demi-human cave. Gotcha. I'm gonna fight another demi-human boss, potentially? Oops. I love to just keep doing attacks that just miss, just to show off. I like to show off to my enemies. Land octopus ovary. Yep, love love getting the land octopus ovaries. You like my smooth moves, son? I believe we have now just run around in a complete circle? Yes, we have. Sense of direction. Somewhat intact. Oh, hang on, that was a... Never mind. Okay, we've got fog walled, but it's just... A... Okay, I'm waiting for something then. Oh, here we go. Demi-human chief. With a bunch of demi-human friends. Oh my god. Whoa! Whoa! Why is there two health bars? Where's the other one? Oh. <laughs> nice health bar, bro. Oh, there's the other one. I see it coming in. Sometimes it doesn't matter how much damage you can do to an enemy, because if you are if you are still careless, you will suffer the consequences. Alright guys, this has been an embarrassing playthrough so far. <laughs> the embarrassment of losing to a to the demi-human chief that can die in three hits. It's possible, guys. Anything is possible when you're bad. And I have I have my moments. Old Knight Istvan. Ooh, there's a summon. That's cool. I mean, this fight's easy enough that I could have just summoned him and see what Old Knight Istvan was all about. But that's fine. Oh, <laughs> I knocked him over. I knocked him over. That's funny. He did not like that. Okay, that demi-human, that small little fucker, getting in the way. Ah, oh, that's funny. He's just chilling. Okay. I think they really should have fixed this fight where he just makes the two of them aggressive immediately. Because otherwise this is a bit of a joke fight. Tailoring tools and a sewing needle. Oh, I got tailoring tools and a sewing needle. Can we customize our clothing? What? Silver fireflies. Can we customize our clothing? A large sewing needle curved like a fang. Bok the demi-human's prized possession. A portable set of tailoring tools. Enables armor alterations at side of grace. What does that even mean? Armor alterations? What kind of armor alterations? The cave moss has... 
got me curious to explore further. Aha! Instead of returning to the entrance straight away, apparently there is more to this cave. I should have just summoned for that fight for the memes, really. Okay. <gasps> oh, fuck! That's how we cross the water! Oh my god, yes! That's how we cross the water! Oh, nice! You have to go through the demi-human cave. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. I'm like, alright guys, we're gonna quickly do this, and then I'm gonna quickly do that, and then we're gonna go to Leonia, and then it's like, oops, I accidentally ended up in a cave, and now I'm at this place. Sorry! Never make a plan. That's my advice, is never tell... No, I can't tell you guys a plan. I can tell you my intentions, but I, I can never promise that I'm going to end up adhering to them, especially when something like this happens. Hell yes, Coastal Cave. And let's have a look at these armor alterations that we can do. Rest at Sight of Grace. Alter Garments. Look how much we can do now. Oh. There's a great rune menu. Am I blind? Have I been blind to this the whole time? Yes, I have. My eyes are... My eyes are not what they used to be, guys. It's a true blind playthrough in the fact that I've actually been playing this without vision. Because I miss things that are right in front of me. Sometimes when you just get used to using seeing the same menu over and over, sometimes things stand out. Other times they do not. I think most of the time when I look at this menu... I just look for, talk to Melina, and that's it. <laughs> I got my mind on women, not on games, damn it. With the Great Rune menu, you can equip Great Runes that have had their power restored. You can use a Rune Arc to give even greater benefits to your equipped Great Runes. So that's why we have a bunch of Rune Arcs. So you can equip one, and we do have one, which raises all attributes. For some reason, I just assumed that this would just be a passive ability, even though... I didn't see any of my stats get raised. I just kind of shrugged it off. That makes sense. Okay. How do we... So we can use... Rune arcs. Do I have to do that in my inventory? Grants the blessing... Ah, oh, I see... So, it's not a constant passive thing. You have to use the rune arc to activate the rune you have equipped. Uh, a shard of the Shattered Elden Ring grants the blessing of an equipped great rune upon use. Even if no great rune is equipped, it will slightly increase maximum HP. It is said that the lower, arc of, uh, the lower arch of the Elden Ring receive its bounty, and this is the shard of one such arch. I'm assuming this is a temporary thing. I don't know if this is like a constant activation, considering we have a numbered amount of them, but they don't seem too common either. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, we'll have to see how we go. This game is so large and overwhelming that sometimes you even forget about the basic things that you obtained literally towards the beginning of the game sometimes. And then you just need that little bit of a reminder that you're like, all oh, right, that's what that is. So, Alter Garments. We can only alter... Wait. Ah. It, it has a visual change. It actually changes the look of it. It gives you more defensive abilities and resistances, but the weight is increased. It looks like it can only be done to actual armor like on the chest and not anything else though and maybe only the armor that you there's only seemingly there's only particular armor pieces that are able to be customized in fact i can only do this unless it's only allowing me to uh, uh, customize what's equipped wait a minute And now we reverse it back. So 
so you can... Ah, I've got a bunch of stuff on me now. Ah, oh, it, it clips through the turtle shell. Immersion ruined. Zero out of ten game. Okay, so the Lands of Reed armor has now been altered. It is now stronger but weighs a little bit more. If I put on my cloth garb, look at me, I look fantastic. And I have a look at altered garments. Nope, okay, so it, there is only specific armor, it's not what is equipped. Specific stuff can be altered. Good to know. I made it to the... To the Church of Dragon Communion. I made it. All of the dragons are missing their heads. All of the dragon statues have been decapitated. Ooh, okay. Now... Yura was talking about the Dragon Communion Church, but I can't remember what else he said or warned us about. Before I examine the altar, I think it might be a good idea to actually explore the, the environment and this island, because I have no idea what that thing is about to, to trigger. So let me take a look around before I do something risky and examine the strange altar with a seemingly uh, dead dragon. Seemingly dead dragon and a bunch of decapitated dragon statues. Seems good. It feels like this island may potentially be empty outside of this church, but I'm wondering if there would be an NPC here as well. It does seem like there, this would be a prime location for an NPC to exist, but... Oh, hang on. There's something up there. There you go. What's that? What's shining at me? Hello. Oh, it's a message. Far to the east. Here we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, far to the east, which is in the Kalid region. I got my east and west right. Uh, far to the east. Cathedral of Dragon. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, far to the east. Somewhere over here. And we got an item. And I can hear a scarab nearby too. Exalted Flesh. Ah, oh, there was something else that I picked up for the first time as well that I wanted to check out. I can't remember what it was. I think it was the Bewitching Branch? Yeah. A tree branch blessed with an incantation of unalloyed gold. It's a craftable item. Pierce a foe and using FP to turn them into a temporary ally. The Empyrean McQuella is loved by many people. Indeed, he has learned very well how to compel such affection. I think that was the thing that I was looking for. Cool. Okay, if we head down... Uh, not that way. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> Apparently so. Uh, I'm gonna find a scarab somewhere. It's getting louder. It's getting louder. Uh, yeah. Somber smithing stone. Turtle. Okay. Perfect. So there's an item that was a message that leads us towards a Cathedral of Dragon. And now we are going to have a look at this altar. From Software games have always rewarded exploration, and this one is most certainly no different. It's uh, it's actually absolutely, absolutely crazy um, how good this game is at rewarding your exploration into the into the nooks and crannies, even the things that I totally miss and then come back for later. It's great. So this looks ominous. Church of Dragon Communion. 
Ritual of Dragon Communion. Oh. Oh, and we offer the Dragon Heart to it. It gives us an incantation. You get Dragon Magic. One of the incantations of Dragon Communion transforms Caster into a dragon to spew flaming breath. Charging extends duration. Incantation of those who have hunted dragons and feasted upon their hearts. Theirs is a pure and overwhelming power. Transforms Caster into a dragon to tear through foes with dragon claws. Allows one follow-up attack. Transforms Caster into a dragon to bite enemies before them. Ooh. I mean, they're all incantations. And I probably won't be using them uh, on this character, on this playthrough. But I'm gonna, we're going to do it anyway because I, I'm sure it will progress a quest. Uh, it looks like the one that is the most achievable is the Dragon Fire. So at the very least, I will probably get that. Offer one Dragon Heart to make Dragon Fire thine own. Does that mean there's another two Dragon Hearts to obtain in this game? I was exp I was scared that maybe uh, like interacting with this would do a cutscene and maybe the dragon would wake up and we'd have to do a fight or some sh some shit, but that was much nicer. It's literally like a dragon, like merchant area. All right, I can take off this marker now because we no longer need that reminder. What we do need to keep in mind is there is another cathedral of dragon to the east, to the east. Um, let's travel back to the seaside ruins, and then I'll talk to Yura, and I'll be like, Yura, I found my way over to the dragon communion place. Have you got any updates for me? And he'll say, foul beast. I can't believe you've done this. Hello. You must not forget, though, those who partake in dragon communion, their hunger for dragon, until the floodgates burst, the strength of a might. no surprise that... Yeah, so he's just talking about dragon communion being ruinous. Okay. No update for him once we have actually done that. Uh, I'm gonna move... I'm gonna remove that marker, too, because Blythe is obviously not there anymore. Um... Cool. Limgrave? Limgrave time? Limgrave time. I mean, Leonia. <laughs> I know the names of places. Um, we'll go back to exploring up this way. Like we were before. The Laskiar Ruins. We'll go back to exploring this way. Because that's what we were doing before we decided to go on a Everjail hunt. And then we all know how that went. It turned into an adventure! Which this game certainly, certainly does for you, doesn't it? The Laskiar Ruins. Okay, so I haven't been here before. We just went to... We've only been at this grace and we fucked off to the to the west. So, looks like we're going to have a entry point in here somewhere. Let's take a look around. Ah, another teleport. Okay. I think I marked a teleport here? Yes. This one here is a teleporter. It looks like it should teleport us between these two, then. Only one way to find out, though. Oh my fucking god, what the fuck is that? Uh, okay. What the fuck? Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Well, that was cursed. <laughs> Monster shows up, poisons me, fucking beats a shit out of me, refuses to elaborate. Leaves. That was fun. Okay, you gotta watch out for those. Please, they'll get you. Oh, you decided not to shrink back into the ground this time. Oh my fucking god! That's just a normal enemy. That's literally like the Sekiro uh, centipede enemy, dude. 
They'll, they'll get you. Emotional, emotional peace. Be at peace, be calm. When an erratic, an erratic monster faces you and absolutely massacres your entire being and existence with minimal effort, remain calm. When it can literally phase in and out of reality and just tickle you in an unstoppable manner, remain calm. Remain calm. When, when, when From Software decides to introduce a absolutely fucking nightmarish boss that should not exist as a, as a boss, but as a an, an enemy, who do you blame? Who's at fault for that? For an for an enemy that should that is stronger than bosses, and is just a standard enemy, to the point where they make you forget how to actually speak normal words. And get very confused. Okay, guys. The, the people of Leonia are kind of fucked up. They've got issues. A ritual pot. Have we got one of those before? What's a ritual pot? It says... I think it's a new item. I, I never know what to whether to believe that or not, because sometimes it says new item, but I've already gone it before. This empty pot somehow mends itself when broken, special item with greater durability than a cracked pot, essential vessel for crafting ritual pot items. The materials and magic sealed within deploy their effects when the pot is thrown. So it's just a better version of the cracked pot. A ritual pot. Wonderful. Okay. Looking for the entrance to some ruins. Interestingly enough, the teleporter direction looks to be actually still going off that way. So maybe this is a multi-tier teleporter that goes from here to here to here. Because I have a feeling it's going to take us out that way. I need to look for the entrance to these ruins before we proceed, though. Hopefully nothing emerges out of the ether and just knocks me off my horse and makes me regret my entire existence. Hopefully there's none of that around here. Uh, maybe this isn't a ruins with a, a lower section. I was under the impression that all of them did have a downstairs. There's still some more over here. There it is. There's our downstairs. I always get scared walking in here. You never know what's coming in when you go into these rooms. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A wraith calling bell. Bell used by worshippers of revenants. Ring bell use FP to summon prowling wraiths. This can be done multiple times in a row. Wraiths are said to be the vengeful spirits of those who died when cursed. So that's what those enemies are using against us at the moment then. A wraith calling bell. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Let's use this teleporter and see where we end up. I'm feeling frisky. Yeah, that's the bit. Okay, so that's the bell. Okay, why do they just keep coming? Please stop. Uh, teleporter is right here. Bada bing, bada boom. 
All right, let's see. Where do we end up? Let's see. Curiosity. Oh, fuck. That's a bit of a teleport. <laughs> okay. With the seal and everything. Okay. Damn. That just pushed us so far through all of that. So that's the... That pushed us through Gate Town. Okay. Maybe the light doesn't mean what I think it does because... We have that going in that direction. This one, seemingly, I thought going off in that direction, but it's actually pointing right to... I believe this is the academy, right? This is the... No, it's not. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it's the entrance to the academy. No, it, yeah, fuck it is. There's Hogwarts up there. Okay, cool. I don't know if I want to necessarily accept that teleport. It looks like it's a one-way teleport as well. So I can't just go back. I will rest at this side of Grace and then I'll turn back because as much as I would love to go through Rhea Lucaria right now, I don't think it's fair for me to have skipped this entire segment. You know what I mean? Like, I still have more to explore before we do this. Plus, I don't think we have the ability to open this gate. Judging by the massive seal upon it. All right. Where are we? The South Rail Lucaria Gate. There you go. South Gate. Will the seal open? Or do we need to do something? A meeting place map. You found a simple map. Check in inventory. Ooh. I like this a lot. So, you're like, ah. Oh, this is sealed. What do we do? How do we... How do we get there? And then there's a hand-drawn map. Simple map found on a corpse seems to point to a meeting place. The man it came from surely desired one. The sole means of gaining entry into the academy. A glintstone key. Okay. So there's Rhea Lucaria, so off to the west is a meeting place on the map. Here, I think. Uh, it looks like it could be there. Or it's there. It's one of these two spots. Maybe. Well, that's Gate Town. So in between Gate Town... In between Gate Town... Which is here and here. It might be that then. I think it's that, not that one. I'm gonna leave a beacon there anyway, because I'm curious. Cool. So you get teleported to this place where it's like, here, go into Rhea Lucaria now. And I'm like, ah, I'm kind of not ready for that one. There's another gazebo out there. Let's go beacon hunting. Um. Alright, I've been in this area, so I feel kind of confident to push past there. I still need to do more over here. This is that part where it gets overwhelming again, because you're like, ah, directions! Where do I fucking, where do I go? Where do I look? I don't want to miss things. Okay, so Gate Town. We're going to head over there. Look at that view, though, of Hogwarts from here. Oh, it's a, there's a minor Erd tree in this direction as well. That is so fantastic. The musical shift. <laughs> I'm like, oh, the musical shift, what's going on? I'm gonna have another fucking death bird just randomly swing down and smite me, apparently. We got a sight of grace here. Just chilling, okay. Seemingly random sight of grace? What is this called? 
This is the fallen ruins of the lake. Okay. Yeah, so I just think it's maybe worth just doing a bit of a circle of said ruins just to see if there's like, I don't know, an NPC like standing around near it or something. Otherwise I'm trying to like question the I'm trying to question the importance of there being a grace point here when it's not necessarily far away from a previous point of grace. It's just a bunch of demi-humans roaming through here. Now, I'm curious if this might be our Rose Church that Vare was speaking about, or whether that's that one up there. It's either one or the other. No, look, it's Vare. Find yourself maidenless? Come hang out with me. <laughs> nice, we found him again. Let me get this scarab first. Find yourself maidenless. Come and hang out with me. No, it's just a red one, whatever. I don't believe the red ones give you cool stuff. Um, is this why it's called the Rose Church? Buddy, it's been some time. Ah, there you are. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hole. What was your impression? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. To be fair, saying they didn't seem right is quite an interesting point to make because there is a lot of it's a literal magical two fingers that these creepy looking maidens speak on behalf of they didn't seem right they were magnificent I think it's possible that things can not seem right, but also be magnificent. It was quite both. I'm going to go with magnificent. You don't say. Well, what a relief that must be. You may go then. My work here is done. May the wisdom of the two fingers guide you. Hmm. Oh, is something wrong? Ah, okay. So if we just go, they were magnificent. He's like, oh, cool. I knew that didn't feel right when he said that. And he was just like, oh, may the two fingers guide you. What's cool is that it gives you a chance to, to kind of poke further and go, the two fingers seemed off. Aha, uh -huh. your intuition serves you well. Okay. My doubts had been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. Okay then, so I've just written with Vare, do not trust two fingers, does not feel right. Um, I certainly felt that when I came in, because obviously it's, uh, it's weird as hell, like it's literal two fingers. So, Vare has something going on here. Oh, I have a gift for you, something fit only for the wise. A festering bloody finger. A gift only for the wise, because he congratulates our intuition. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I have high hopes for you, my lambkin. My lambkin. Invasion multiplayer. That's with the fingers. Okay, lambkin. <laughs> We are a fellow lamb. Use Festering Bloody Finger to attempt to invade the world of another player. Okay. 
Be sure to try that finger I gave you. There's no reason to dither. The tarnished were spurned by grace, forsaken by the two fingers. And now they ask you to mend their crumbling world? <laughs> Your loyalties are misplaced with them. Hmm. That's, that's cool. Be sure to try. I'm quite... Okay. The Rose Church. The water looks nice. Come on in. It doesn't, certainly doesn't look like it's a bunch of rot. Ah, we get some blood rose in here. Hell yes. And Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 12. I went too far. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, fuck. Where's the Nomadic Warrior stuff again? Why am I like this? Oh. It's because we've gotten a bunch of stuff down the bottom now that usually I just press up and I can see them immediately, but it was just out of my view. Uh, cursed Blood Pot. Okay. Hi. Whoa, hi. <laughs> Whoa! Um... <laughs> oh, fuck me. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> That's a parry blade! Right. That's so cool, man. Oh! <laughs> Dude, what are these what are these fucking abilities? Crazy. Why did I do that? I knew he was in the parrying stance and I still attacked him selfishly. I was in the middle of healing and I just got blood lost. <laughs> he had no health left. Oh, that's why there's a stake of America there. He's like, surprise, bitch. Get blood lost. That was so cool. I'm gonna try the Bloodhound's Fang. Keep in mind, we are also taking more damage because of this thing that I've equipped on myself, so uh, I'm kind of uh, doing that to myself. Uh, how cool is that change of time of day? So cool. There was a little, like, I did, like, a quick step dodge thing there, too. Like, whoo Did you guys see that? Oh, no, not these guys. I haven't killed a single one of these yet. Because they just look so innocent. No! Why would you attack me, friends? You look so innocent. I was really hoping that we would have been able to get, like, um, a weapon that that thing was using. That was cool. Okay. We didn't get an item or anything. But we do have the ability to climb a bunch of rotting pus. Hell yeah. Uh, this sword is insane. Just casually. It's a bit crazy. I'm quite in love with it. Alright. I'm going to have to redo all of my notes at this point because I just obviously just writing as notes come. I need to start like just having like a page dedicated to one character or one location and just fill in notes that are related to them. There you go. That's our Rose Church. God, I actually thought that it might have been um, that up there, which we still we still have to get to. I think we can get up there this way, so let's try do that. Because this is also related to... 
Uh, apparently the ruins in the cliff. It looks like that we can go underneath this place. Oh, uh, actually, maybe that's Volcano... Volcano Manor. I don't know why that's so hard to say. Maybe that's Volcano Manor. And we have to use the Grand Lift of Dectus to ascend to that location. And then we've got a Minor Erd Tree out here. And we've got... Another building, which seemingly looks like similar to one that we've seen before, which is sealed off. Which I think you need glinstone keys to get past those seals. But I wonder if a glinstone key is a... I really wonder if a glinstone key is a one-time use item that we have to find multiple of them to get into these places. Or if it's a um, infinite use. More of these things. Okay. So let's see if my hunch is correct. Got a point of grace here. Are you sealed? Oh, it's not sealed. I was fully expecting this to have that same seal. Because we've seen a tower just like this. Um, and oh, apparently I'm in combat. There we go. Uh, the tower that I'm referring to is this one. That's what that is, yeah. This is the tower that's sealed. Um, with sorcery. So I was fully expecting this to be the same. Converted tower. Erudition guide thee. This is a reason why I like playing offline. Is I know, like when there is a, a summon or a message and stuff on the ground, I know that it is meant for me, you know. As much as messages can be fun, uh, I'm enjoying taking it in this way. Uh, erudition guide thee. I'm gonna do a Google, cause I don't know what that word means. Uh, erudition. How many people have, uh, have Googled erudition over the past month? The quality of having showing great knowledge or learning scholarship okay essentially learn magic you fool and then let it guide ye erudition guide thee this looks like a lift okay we've gotten a kaku glinstone so I'm gonna do something I was like, look, maybe if I cast magic, something might activate. Who knows? Because it definitely looks like we're supposed to... Look, we can get up there. This is a lift. This will go up. Seemingly. I mean, maybe not. It does look like it's kind of melded in with the environment. But at the same time... Why doesn't this one blow up? Hmm. I have to do some sort of magic. Maybe the sorcery that is the, like, the cast light sorcery? If there's story stuff hidden behind needing to do magic, I'm gonna be sad because I'm not a magical man. Okay, we need to do something here in order to get up to the top. Or... Or... I can just do this. See? Like that. Maybe. Maybe that's all bullshit. And, and now you just have to climb this way. Maybe it's bullshit. Okay. Usually I'm better at this. Horse. Aha. Aha. Erudition, guide thee. Who needs a lift? When you can just do that. Perfect. Just walk around the outside. Day 624 of trying to see if there is an invisible wall. Up we go. We ascend.
So cool, man. Ah, memory stone. Okay, so that increases our memory slots. Hair edition guide the perfect. You reckon I could survive that fall? <laughs> awesome. All right. Let's figure out how to get up there, which probably means going down the bottom first. The ruins in the cliff. All right, can I survive this fall? No. Sometimes you just need to ask yourself, in the name of science, can I survive this fall? And you can't. Oh, I just realized what that knight is. Haha! -ha. I just realized what that knight is on the loading screen. That is a crucible knight. No idea who the woman is, though. That's one of the most appealing loading screens that has come across uh, my eyesight, my, my eye line, recently, is uh, that one. As long as well as uh, as well as Blythe, very very cool. All right, down we go. The sensible way. Very sensible. Okay. Time to go through some ruins for a little bit. Let's see what we can find. We're gonna push in here. Just slightly and see what shows up. Oh, good. Hey, guess what? I'm on a horse. Ha <laughs> ha! You can't get poisoned when you're on a horse. Fucking crabs. Oh, yeah, there's a full on. There's shit going on in here. You got bridges. If you got bridges built under a cliff, there's, there's shit going down. Music to my ears. Let's explore. Smithing stones. Oh, we got a bunch of sick vomiting boys as well. Sucks to be you. I'm on a horse. I don't get sick. Whoa! Okay, Trina's Lily. Gotcha. Ah! Crab. Gotta watch out for this. Yo! Crystal land. Let's go. Crystal land. Ooh. Hello. Yeah. Oh, I was just about to let my attack go off. How dare you? Oh my god. Oh my god. I was just about to get my attack off. They're like, they're why are they invincible? What the fuck? Look how much damage I didn't do. What the hell are these things? Why are they still chasing me? Guys, go back home. Go back home, please. Ah! I'm gonna try this. hey -ya! Yes. One damage. Guys. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> oh, hell yeah, look at that damage. Oh, okay, that's actually a little more damage. That's okay. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Well, I'm doing damage to you now. I've broken your structural integrity. Oh, that's cool. So you have to, maybe after the first, after that attack, you like weaken them. And they're kind of, like, broken. These things are fucked. Ah! No, the spin move! Yeah, that's right. Get your defense weakened. <laughs> Yeah, you. Nice. I love how it closes the gap with a little bit of a instant transmission dash if you if you do miss that first attack. Holy fuck. Those crystal guardians are no joke. Don't fuck with those guys. What are they guarding? What are they protecting? 
Well, if I didn't kill those guys, I would have probably never have come back here. They actually put the fear of Crystal in me. They made me scared of Crystal. Ooh. Imagine if you just fell down a hole right here and it just took you to the Crystal Cave from Dark Souls 1. See, the Scaleless has returned! Alright, where the hell am I, dude? Uh, there's no map marker that I can see yet on this part of the map, but, uh, hell yeah. Crab! Get crabbed. Alright. Let's find a way back. Let's focus up. Back in this thing. I can't wait to find a map so I can figure out what the hell is going on here. Ah, uh, there's an item up there. Quick, climb, scale the cliff. It is easy. <laughs> scale, just scale the cliff. It's as as the as intended. Okay, let's take a look around. Let's take another path through here. So bridge, coffin guy, some ruins, big bridge, crab. Crab. Giant crab. Another giant crab. How are we getting up there? How are we getting up there? Around here? Here we go. Oh, this looks nice! This is... This is homey. This is like... This is nice. Yeah. I love what you've done with the place. I love what you've done with your ruins under the cliff. It's very nice. It's just... What is the rent on this place? Village of the Albanorix. Village of the Albanorix. Is that even a real word? What does that word mean? It's it's Google time today. Albanorix. I cannot... No. I don't, there's not a word there. A word does not come up. Elden Ring stuff comes up that I won't look at, but a descriptive word does not appear. What do you guys... Oh. You guys got pale blood, huh? That reminds me of something. Oh, fuck, it's Nefeli! Oh, it's you. Well... What do you make of it? What's happened to this village? I witnessed a sight much the same in my infancy. The oppression of the weak. Murder and pillage unchecked. A waking nightmare made by men. The felly's back. But this time, I'm a woman grown. And though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out justice. Justice to the oppressors. Let the scars I carve remind them. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Nefeli Lu, warrior. But this time, and though the justice to let the scars I... Yeah, I was wondering when she was going to pop up again. I was expecting her to pop up in the round table hold, but she's left. So now we need to, f now that we found her, potentially she'll, uh, she'll go back. After this, okay, we've got a village. I'm here also hearing some music. Oh god. Ooh, that spin. That heavy attack though. Oh, if I can actually get it off. I'm about to get hit off an edge in a second. Okay. They just keep appearing 
Fuck. I don't like this. Ooh, we got another larval tier, which I think we we use for respecking. I think we use that for respecking. Yeah, I love the the back of it when the sh when the shield isn't on. That's so cool. We empowered it with the with the power of reeds. I don't know, just with the music that's playing right now, and us going into like a haunted village, it's... I'm just getting like Mibu Village vibes from Sekiro. And it just makes me want to be full samurai again. This village is done for. Please, even if it's just you, old Albus, hide well and steal your breath. Old Albus. The lands between is one hell of a place to live. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's a there's a lot. There is a lot going on in this place. There's a lot of variety to this world. It's it's awesome. Big fan. All right, we've got 18 strength. Now we can naturally now we can naturally wield um, the blood sword without the help of the talisman. All right, we go. Before we cross the bridge, let's let's go up, I suppose. Find the source of this uh, this music. I wonder what per uh, if uh, I wonder if there's going to be an opportunity to summon uh, Nefeli. Oh, here you are. Okay, magic dust. Okay, magic dust. Fire dust. Oh, that's so sick. Whoa. Huh. That's awesome. Altus Bloom. Oh yeah, because the Altus Plateau. I think we're near that place. Near the Altus Plateau. Said to be a funeral flower in an era long past before the Erd Tree grew. I think that was the music source as well. You there, old fool! Get killed! How dare you attack me while you have a random thing around your head. See, I like the lantern, it's great, because ooh, because it, you know, allows you to uh, have a hand free, but at the same time, you can just can't beat that light that a torch gives you, you know? Giant evil pot. It's going to be filled with poison. Please no, dear me. <laughs> I haven't a clue. Oh. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Is this Albus? Please leave me be. <laughs> I was like, giant pot. I'm going to roll into it and watch it be poison. Like, de like what's downstairs in the swamp. He was fucking using a mimic veil. Wait then. You're not one of them. Well, what a relief. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me. I... I'm Albus. He is Albus, there you go. An Albinoric, as you can see. Albinoric. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the curse mongers' hands. Ooh! The Hallig Tree Secret Medallion, the right hand side. And if you should meet the young Albinoric Latena, Latena. Then please give it to her. Uh Latena Give Medallion. 
Let me just <laughs> let me just write that one down because there are five million NPCs in this game, each with their own convoluted quest lines. Love it. Okay, so we've got another another piece. So we've got the Dectus ah oh, the Dectus medallion to operate the grand lift of Dectus. That's why that's why that was so familiar. We need to go get the other half in Fort Faroth in the Dragon Barrow, far to the east. Damn it. Connecting the Altus uh, Plateau to Leonia. So we have to do that to get to the Volcano Manor. Volcano Manor, I think. Maybe they're just loosely connected. There's a lot of story running through my head right now, so I'm just trying to like... <laughs> Remember it all. Right half of a split medallion depicting the Hallig tree. Brandishing the medallion with both halves conjoined will activate the Grand Lift of Rold, granting access to a hidden path. So two Grand Lifts right now. In other words, this secret medallion will guide the bearer to the land of Mequella's Hallig tree. So I'm assuming if I take this medallion to Latena, she might have the other half or something like that. Seems like that could be... That could be quite possible. I mean, we don't know. I wouldn't like to give it to her if it means we're gonna miss out on a grand lift of rolled. We will have to see. Alright, Albus the Albanoric. A chosen land awaits us, Albanorix. The medallion is the key that leads to the city. It's only a quaint treasure for we who cannot make the journey. But for dear Latena, it is needed. To fulfill her purpose. To fulfill her purpose. Okay, so... Alrighty then. We'll give her the other half of the medallion, but it looks like she wants to go to th this place. So, it's a good idea. My legs will soon fade, and with them my life. Alas, this is the immovable fate of all Albinorex. <laughs> Death. All right, Albus died, but we got a medallion. Ooh, an ivory sickle. An ivory sickle. Let's have a look. Keep forgetting, just do it by order of acquisition, dude. It's a dagger. A weapon carried by aged Albanorix. These weapons are evidence of their dedication to the Halig tree, despite never having entered its presence, and it's got a quick step. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And here I thought Albanorix was an actual word, but it's one created for this game, which makes a lot of sense, which is why when I Google it, all it did was come up with Elden Ring. And I said, no thank you. I only wish to use Google as a dictionary right now. Okay, so we've got a bridge that goes over that way with more of these fellows. And then we've got a rope bridge which goes over there. Oh god, they also know sorcery. Hey! You dare cast magic. You dare cast magic in my presence. Nyah! Damn, alright. We're exploring the village. Come back here, you fucking thing! No! That's the one thing that I love about this addition in Elden Ring to the treasure scarab things is... Ooh... Ooh, to the treasure scarabs is um, that they don't run off a cliff like the ones in previous games do. Alright. I have a feeling this is tied to story stuff, so I'm gonna fucking do the story stuff. Alright! I'm gonna do the story stuff. Because I want to. Let's summon Nefeli Lu, warrior. Let's go! There's a fight here, I guess. Oh! Omen killer! Whoa! Whoa! 
Omen Killer. Oh, that's fucking sick. Look at her ability. She's got fucking... She's got lightning. She's got a lightning weapon. I like that I'm doing pretty much all of the damage to this boss anyway. She's got a lightning storm ability. I made quick work of that boy. <laughs> Woo! All right. Crucible not. Crucible not talisman. All right, Nefeli basically stood there and looked cool. And damn, did she look cool. She's got the ability to make lightning storms. Good to know. Um, I wonder if she's back down where she was before now. When I summon in a, in a boss now, I'm just like, I just need to massacre it as quickly as possible to do all of the damage. <laughs> Omen killer. That was cool. Alright, so we got a, a crucible thing. Crucible thing. What is the crucible thing? Talisman. Reduces damage and impact of headshots. Nice. A talisman fashioned from a bony knot that embodies the aspects of various creatures, said to have grown on the human body long ago. A vestige of the crucible of primordial life, born partially of devolution, was considered a signifier of the divine in ancient times, but is now increasingly disdained as an impurity as civilization has advanced. One of these days, when I get a new item, I will stop being so excited and I will remember to check the icon of what it is, but I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> and that's why I'm like, oh, where is it? So I know that the icon is there. I'm just not used to it, and therefore I keep forgetting about its existence. Well, we made nice, quick work of that omen killer. That was fun. Item. A rune arc. Nice. Okay. I wonder where this uh, Latena is. Maybe she's over on the rope bridge, or maybe she's just in a completely different place altogether. Who knows? Oh, I guess we could have fought the boss on horseback. I guess we could have fought the boss on horseback. That's cool. I'm going to head back and see if uh, Nephili is, um, is still where she was before. Okay, she's moved. She's moved from here. Okay, so summoning her, uh, summoning her moves her on from where she was. So she's no longer there. Oh man. And then you see a little baby on the floor. And that baby will be named Guts. Albanuric Blood Clot. Albanuric Blood Clot. Let's take a look at this pale blood clot, shall we? What type of item is that? Is it a crafting one? It is. Found by killing Albanurics. Uh, the thick, coagulated blood of the Albanurics. They are life forms made by human hands, thus many believe them to live impure lives, untouched by the Erd Tree's grace. Ooh. <coughs> I just choked on nothing. Oh, God. Sorry. Choking on albanuric blood. Ooh. Um, they are unnatural creations. Hence the whole blood thing. Ooh. Crystal sword. Excuse me, while I crystal sword, I need 15 intelligence. Look how cool that looks. Sword fashioned from pure crystal, a deed impossible for a human. Enwreathed with powerful magic, its attack scales with intelligence. The inscrutable crystallians have but one clear purpose, to safeguard their crystals unto the end. One theory posits that they yearn for the return of their creator, who will carve for them new brethren. And a spinning slash skill. 
Hell yeah. Okay, anything else to this area? Or was this bridge just leading us to a weapon? Let's take a look. In that case, it might be a good idea to return to the round table hold and see if uh, Nefeli has gone back there. Uh, that is my that is my next option. That seems likely. Does indeed seem likely. Aha! I am king of Pride Rock. Okay, wonderful. Um, all right. I think we go into this village of the Albanorix to get this medallion, and then we need to find Latena for potentially the other half. Cool. We'll also need to find a map fragment around here somewhere as well. Uh, let's head back to the round table. We'll hold. Head back to the round table. Hold, and we'll see if. Uh, See if Nefeli's here. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why? Insure of the royal remains is now hostile. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck? I was like, I was literally gonna say it's dark in here. Okay, you don't speak a word to me and then you just try and kill me. Great enemy felled. Oh, we... Oh! Clinging bone. Oh, we were in another instance. Great, so I'll just... I'll just, uh... Cross out Encher's name on my notes then. I was hoping for some maybe dialogue eventually. No, just murder. Uh, why did she do that? Not a key item. Is it a weapon? It is. Why did she do that? What the hell? Is it even a she? I don't even know. It's just got... Maybe it's just the skull helmet that has hair on it. Ensha. I can't remember how it was, was it was described. I think it was described as a her. Horrific weapon made of a hardened skeletal arm wielded by Ensha of the Royal Remains. Fitted by placing one's hands into the fist's grip until they dig in. O oh, clinging creature, a king relinquishes not the hand. Life Steel Fist, a skill that demonstrates mastery of the art of controlling vital energies. A slow, controlled punch with an energy-infused fist that renders foes unconscious and steals their HP, only effective against foes of human build. Um, great. Well, I, I'm pretty sure Encher was guarding Gideon, and we've just murdered them, so that's good. What is what was that about? Oh, do you think that's because that we said that we said uh, that we mentioned that something didn't feel right about the two fingers, maybe? Tavare. I'm trying to think of a of a story point that is triggered that would bring that bring that up. That seems directly related to the round table hold, so I think it might have been us speaking to Vare. I do, Alfred. I suppose I shall ask Matthew. That was a surprise. What is it? The map indicate will lead you. Ah, well then. Alright, hopefully this one isn't heretical. Would you like this Fire Monk's prayer book? That is a book of heresy. <laughs> Every single book so far. Lineage from the Erd Tree. Oh my god. We haven't found a single uh, book that has lineage from the Erd Tree yet. <laughs> Oh, it's literal pyromancy. It's so sick. Incantation originating from a sinister prophecy. Momentarily sparks flame from the caster's hand. The flame of ruin is anathema of, to the Erd Tree, but prophets sometimes glimpse it within faith all the same. Sadly, when this occurs, their sole reward is banishment. Oh, flame. Oh, flame. The giant's flame still smolders upon the distant mountaintop. And the fire monks are its guardians. Flame sling. The flame of ruin is anathema to the earth tree. Okay, so it charges an enhanced potency ball. And surge or flame creates a stream of fire. Hang on, I'm pretty sure catch flame 
and flame sling came from that uh, that thief from the uh, the jail the the ever jail these are the new ones O flame and Sergio flame so the giant's flame is the flame of ruin capable of burning the Erd tree and so following the war against the giants its ruinous blaze was sealed and guardians were appointed to watch over it cool the golden Sorry that I keep giving you heretical texts, my, my guy. Okay, no Nefeli. Royal Remains Helm! Oh, the full armor set! Oh, the full armor set. Hello. Oh, nice. Okay, helm graced with gold human bones, worn by the unspeaking adherent of Sir Gideon the All-Knowing, slowly replenishes HP when HP is reduced. It is said that the bones belong to an ancient lord, the Soulless King, the Lord of the Lost and Desperate, who was known as Ensha. Whoa. Oops. Slowly replenishes HP. Wow. Alright, hang on. I'm not gonna walk in to this room wearing um, his dead guard's armor. I was hoping that Nefeli would be back in that spot. Hopefully she's somewhere. Okay, is this gonna be an awkward interaction? Uh. Nope! <laughs> ah, about Ensha. Oh, my apologies for that nasty business. Ensha got rather ahead of himself, it seems. Ah, himself. As his master. I'd like to express my regret, but now, Ensha is slain and gone. Finished. Forevermore. Ah, yes. Allow me to tender some advice in regard to the half of the secret medallion you possess. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I am sure. Okay, it was not Vare, but us taking up the half of the medallion. About the secret medallions. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which is the left from the shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion. Okay. Well. Sucks to be Ensha. Alright, so Ensha is a is a he. Robustness. Okay, so it's a it's a mixture of things if we wanted to put this on. I kinda like that. I don't like that. It doesn't mismatching doesn't really work outside of potentially just like the helmet. I'm gonna rock that helmet for a bit. Cool. All right, let's look for Nefeli while we're here. So she's not here. So she's gone off on her adventure. Still, I suppose she'll be uh, she'll be somewhere in the world. God, they always make it so obscure, don't they, when you're trying to figure out how to find people. Like, yeah, off they go. Hello, flyboy. Always good to see you safe. So. Okay. I'm going to check in with Master Hugh. I'm going to check in with Fia, because we haven't spoken to her in a while either. I might even be tempted to get another hug, you know? I'm, feel I'm feeling like I might get another hug. Well. <laughs> I took you for dinner, matter it's lay out your own. Oh, we can ask her about Rodrika again. The girl. What about her? Would you watch over Rodrika? Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. It's what she wants. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go and talk to her, and... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go and talk to her, so... 
Um, ooh, this is a good opportunity for us to... I don't think we can yet, though. Yeah, we need more smithing stone. One. I don't know if you can go back to those... Oh, the Bloodhound's Fang upgrades with a somber smithing stone. That makes sense. Because it's a strong one. Let's do that. Somber smithing stone two. Somber smithing stone three. Nice. We do not have somber smithing stone four, however. That's cool. Worth it. Worth it. Interestingly enough, some of the big, like the other stuff that we've gotten, is not. That needs smithing stone three because it's already a plus eight weapon. I really want to try out that glint blade um, for Lynx skill. We have a crazy variety of weapons in this game. Like a huge variety of weapons in this game. Barely even, barely even really gotten into... Barely even, barely, like, really even gotten into it. Right, I'm gonna go talk to Rodrigo and I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna set you guys up. If I do, I suppose I'll ask my... Oh, okay. We just have to plant the seed in Hugh's mind. Fia, can I have a hug? We haven't spoken to her in a while. We've been ignoring her because of the whole thing, but I want to see... She's probably going to have some more dialogue and story, so let's see if we can get anything from her. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do it. We don't lose that much health. Now, come closer. I do feel like getting a hug. All right, I'm going to watch my health bar as I get held. Hold me, please. I wish to be coddled. Right, let's watch my health bar. You are so very warm. Yeah, right. It goes down to pretty much my stamina bar. Which... Talk in secret. We can talk in secret. That tiny bit of health makes, like, no difference in the grand scheme of things, considering most enemies can just eviscerate you. Talk in secret. I was known as a deathbed companion. Where I come from, after I received the warmth and lively vigor from a number of champions, I lay with the remains of an exalted noble to grant him another chance at life. To do so is the purpose of my being. But before I could bear the noble into new life, I was awakened by the guidance of grace and chased from my birthplace. Pray, be kind. Despite all that, I still wish to be a deathbed companion. So please, let me hold you like this as often as it takes. Wow. So she was taking tiny bits of life and warmth from people that she would hold and then trying to give life to an exalted noble and is now no longer able to do that but she still wishes for a hug either way so she's like you know i used to be able to get something out of this but now now i get love out of this i want to hold you we can now ask do you know my dear have you ever heard of black knife prince dear roger Likes to talk of them when abed. Ah, Rogier gets hugs. In which the first of the demigods was slain. Ooh. The black knives wielded by the assassins who committed the act, along with the impressions they made, somehow hide the truth of the conspiracy. These grand affairs are hardly my forte. But dear Rogier began to weep as he spoke. Whoa, okay. The Black Knife print. Rogier does like to get some hugs. Can't blame him. In truth, I've heard tell from someone else about the Black Knife prints that fascinate dear Rogier so. Knife print clue? God, I've been neglecting fear this whole time out of fear. Out of fear. 
because of my health, but story. But it wouldn't be right to give this to him, stuck as he is in the round table hole. Ah, oh, we get something. Perhaps uh... you could make use of it. We're going to get something for him and bring it back to him. Dear Roger, likes to talk of it when abed, the ancient plot in which the first of the demigods was slain. The black knives wielded by the assassins who committed the act along with the impressions they made. So that black flame, almost, I don't know if it's the black blade or the black flame is the, the same, but the black flame does damage to the gods as well. That you could, we could power up our swords and weapons with the black flame with the incantation and do additional damage to godlike beings. So I'm assuming if you did that in a boss fight, you'd do more damage. Then good day to you, my dear. Ooh, okay. I'll I'll take I'll take story over like a little bit of health loss. Like that's that's perfectly fine. I'm here for the story. So, thank you for the hug. Um, as always, much appreciated. Um, you can't tell, but I do. I am grateful under this mask. <laughs> thank you for holding me. Okay, we got a clue, baby. We got a clue to a knife print clue. Simple map given by fear. A clue to the whereabouts on a on a black knife print. Okay, so there's a minor erd tree and a tower on the map. So let's go to where we know that uh, there's a minor erd tree. There's a minor erd tree here. There's a church there. It could be in the Morn Tunnel. Um. There's an Erd tree here. And then we don't actually know what's on this other side. It could be here. There's an also there's also an Erd tree that we haven't yet come across, which is up, up here. There's one here as well. And it could be there. Um, I'm gonna need to take another look at this map. I'm gonna need to take another look at this map. The Erd tree, and then a, like a tower, and then very close to that tower is a cave. Press the right sequence of buttons, maybe. Um, this could kind of line up, but not really. That doesn't match. I think it's here. I think this this is the one that matches. That. Like that. So I'm going to put a beacon there. I think it's that one. Perfect. Which means we have a point of interest for next time. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Elden Ring. Uh, we are accomplishing so much, yet it feels like there is still so much more to discover about this world. Uh, as we've, you know, clearly carved out a way, a path for ourselves on the map, but we're still just opening up so much more. So I can't wait to continue playing uh, in next time, in, in the next time episode where we go over here. And we go over here. And we go over here. And we do some cool stuff. So thank you so much for watching. As always, really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.